What's that? Members of the privacy community are arguing again? Well, I'm sure it's completely reasonable and calm. Just like all arguments on the internet. Just let me open my internet browser and take a look. Well, apparently that upset the internet. And here I thought the internet was reasonable and understanding. Despite the questionable reasonableness of the internet, all privacy conscious citizens want the same thing. A browser that gives you the best in class privacy and security. Two of the more common browsers in this discussion are Firefox and Brave. Brave advertises itself as a privacy browser, while Firefox advertises itself as a browser with strong privacy features. So which one is better? Let's find out with a comparison. Before we go any further, I'd like to talk about Acronis CyberProtect Home Office, formerly Acronis True Image, which is a complete personal cyber protection solution. Not only is it a kick-ass anti-malware software, it also provides you with backup and storage solutions. It backs up everything. This could be individual files or your whole system. Prevents cyber threats, including those never seen before, from corrupting data and restores all your backed up data onto new hardware. Acronis Cyber Protect Home Office, formerly known as Acronis True Image, is a complete cyber protection solution that saves you time and money. Consolidate with Acronis and save up to 55% on price compared to running multiple solutions. Make sure you click the link in our description to get a great deal on Acronis. Now, back to the video. In our Firefox versus Brave comparison, we will be taking a look at the following features out-of-the-box privacy and security, performance, and extension support and features. By the end of this video, you'll find out which of these browsers is better for your needs. We'll be adding to a pros and con list throughout this video. Let's take a look at our first point, privacy and security. Starting with privacy, Brave starts strong by not requiring its users to create accounts to sync across multiple browsers. It also has its unique search engine that stands counter to Google. This means that it does nothing to support Google's tracking efforts. Brave even goes as far as to block many of the trackers that come from Google out of the box. This includes telemetric data, which includes information on your device and browser. This will require you not to tweak your settings too much, although you can up the ante by bumping up protection to the point where websites are absolutely broken. Brave allows some third-party cookies, such as those through social media. However, you typically need these cookies to access these sites. You can disable this through the settings. By comparison, Firefox also offers everything just mentioned. However, most of it is not included as an out-of-the-box setting. Instead, you need to go through the process of tweaking your settings. Firefox has an incredible amount of customization, especially if you are a developer. So making the browser do what you want isn't too hard. It just takes a bit of work. Brave has less customization overall, but that doesn't take away from security. So what aspects do they both share? Both companies have systems that automatically upgrade the sites you visit, HTTPS, which makes your connections more secure. You also get password managers across both systems. Both systems also include ad blocking. However, Brave allows ad replacement through its Brave Rewards program, which essentially shows you ads in exchange for their cryptocurrency. The one thing that puts Firefox over the top is its support for a built-in VPN. Despite it being generally more expensive, Firefox is a trusted browsing company. The problem is that it has few server locations and is more expensive, so the VPN doesn't give Firefox many points in this category. There are better and cheaper VPNs like Surfshark and NordVPN. Of course, you can find discount links in the description. Brave gets a slight edge because it provides more out-of-the-box privacy features. Both can have the same level of privacy by changing the settings. So here are the pros of Firefox. You can tweak the settings to block most of Google's trackers. It automatically upgrades sites to HTTPS, and it has an included VPN to protect connection and traffic logs. Okay, the cons on the other hand. You need an account to sync the browser data, and there is no unique privacy search engine. Okay, let's list the pros for Brave. You do not need to create an account to sync browser data. It has a unique privacy search engine. It automatically blocks many Google trackers and automatically upgrades sites to HTTPS. Okay, the cons? It allows some third-party cookies out of the box. You can tweak this. And it's privacy search engine not as developed as others. Duck, duck, go. <coughs> 
So Brave is more secure out of the box, but is it faster? Let's take a look at performance. Well, to understand that, one needs to understand their technology sources. Brave and Firefox are both open source projects, meaning their code is available on the public web. Evidence of this can be found in Firefox's more security-intensive alternative, Leberwolf. Brave is based on the open source Chromium browser, which is the same browser that Google Chrome is built from. The system relies on a rendering engine known as Blink, which emphasizes speed due to how they block ads and trackers. Firefox has an entirely custom browser and rendering system known as Gecko. This means Firefox has no third-party code to rely on, so it works with a considerably smaller budget and no third-party support. Brave is fast because Chrome is fast. However, like Chrome, Brave's technology is prone to random system overloading. Firefox is less likely to overload and eat all of your RAM. However, Firefox is a chunkier system, meaning it naturally takes up more memory. But you wouldn't call Firefox sluggish unless you are on an older computer. So this means both are tied regarding performance due to various issues. Okay, Firefox Pros. It's an open source project with strong history. It has good stability due to long-term development. Firefox Cons. It's slower than Brave. Brave Pros, let's go. So this too is an open source project and has incredible speed due to the use of the Chromium system. Brave Cons. The project is built on Chromium, which is a Google-owned browser base. It's less stable than Firefox due to Chromium's habit of eating too much memory. Okay, now let's take a look at another vital piece, extension support and features. Ultimately, both browsers can be built to do very similar things. So let's start with the general features. Both Brave and Firefox can be found across all major operating systems. These include Linux, Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. Both browsers are beloved across these various platforms, but Firefox's Android browser has a lot of hate due to its changed interface. Meanwhile, Brave seems to have dodged most of the hate across multiple fronts. By being across multiple platforms, both browsers let you sync your data across various sources. Because Firefox let you do so with an account, it's easy to update your favorite bookmarks and passwords automatically. Brave also allows you to sync across multiple fronts. The difference here is that the syncing requires a unique process of scanning a QR code. Both are equally useful, but Brave focuses more on privacy with this approach. Looking at user interfaces, both browsers are pretty good at what they do. Brave is ideal for those familiar with Chrome, basically being virtually identical. You can even search for your settings, which is a feature available on both browsers. Because Firefox has to work from the ground up, it has its unique interface. It is known to be incredibly customizable. So if you're a tech nerd like me, you'll appreciate the complexity that Firefox brings to your browser experience. Last but not least, extensions. As we've said before, Brave is Chromium, which means it gets access to the Chrome Web Store. Because of this, Brave has access to a massive library of apps that help with everything from security to productivity. Firefox also has an app store. However, because its popularity is much smaller than Google's, its selection is far weaker. This doesn't mean that there's no apps on it. There are just fewer apps due to the lack of public interest. This means that for a general audience, Brave offers a better overall package of features. Okay, Firefox Pros. It supports all operating systems. It's super easy to sync your data, and it's great for those who like browser customization. Firefox Cons. Its Android browser is universally hated. It's not that bad, personally. Anyway, the App Store has fewer options because Firefox is unpopular. Brave Pros, let's go. It supports all operating systems. You can search for settings. You can sync between systems easily. And you can access a deep library of apps on the Chrome Web Store. Brave Cons. It's easier to lose sync data because it's built on a QR code, not an account. So ultimately, Brave offers a better browsing experience. Much of this comes from its use of an already established platform brought by Google. However, Firefox isn't a browser worth forgetting. It's my personal favorite. It has more customization options, making it ideal for users who want deep control over their browsing experience. To understand the full scope of technical possibilities available, you would be here for the next hour or so. That would be great for my monetization. Thankfully, neither browser is bad, Brave just has an edge because of its better emphasis on security and faster overall performance. But 
Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Do you have a different opinion? I bet you do. Is there another set of browsers that you'd like us to compare? Let us know in the comments. And you can also like our video and subscribe to the channel, which helps us continue making videos that hopefully help you out or improve your day. Either way, thanks for stopping by. See you next time.